Governor Larry Hogan headlining a series of public events on Thursday while also looking ahead to a key meeting lined up for Monday, a one-on-one -on -one with Baltimore City Mayor Catherine Pugh. It's just a personal meeting between the two of us and the only topic is about uh, the crime in Baltimore City. We're hopefully going to come up with some additional ideas and thoughts. I know the mayor probably has some ideas and requests of us and we've got a few suggestions we're going to make. This comes the same week Baltimore City hit a horrible milestone. 180 murders so far this year. That's compared to 143 at this time last year. If somebody commits a, a felony in Baltimore City with a gun and a shoot somebody, they should be in jail. And not 60 percent of them shouldn't be back out the next day to do it again. And that's uh, it's not the police's fault. Uh, it's not the state's fault for not putting enough money in there. It's uh, the prosecutors and it's the judges who are not giving out tough enough sentences. An opinion shared by Baltimore Police Commissioner Kevin Davis as his team addressed a violent holiday weekend and announced saturation levels of deployment will be in place for the rest of the summer. I think the, the um, state's attorney's office is trying to do as much as they can to, to strategize and work with us and develop strategies for violent repeat offenders. But the third leg of the criminal justice system is one that has existed for a long, long time um, in, in a shroud of um, tradition and, and secrecy inside courtrooms.